Hello everybody, so Wall Street loses billions of dollars as a result of Reddit trolls. So for those of you who already know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and click on the timestamp in the comment section of This Is YouTube, which will fast forward you to the update. For those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, sources in the description box below, I'm gonna give you a really quick background. Okay, so there's hedge funds out there. Now, one of the hedge funds is called Melvin Capital. It's run by a guy named Gabe Plotkin, okay? Believe it or not, in economics, you can bet that a company will go bankrupt and make money off of your bet. In this case, we're talking about GameStop. Now, people on Reddit, we're not happy about that because it turns out a lot of people like GameStop. So a lot of really savvy investors on Reddit decided to accrue all of their money and invest in GameStop, therefore betting that it will succeed, which is the opposite of the hedge fund, betting that it'll fail. So what did they do specifically? Well, they invested into GameStop stock. Well, there were so many people that invested in GameStop that they stopped GameStop from going bankrupt, which then cost this hedge fund, three of them to be exact, $5 billion. So here's what happened. Gabe Plotkin, as a part of Melvin Capital, said, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bet so much money that GameStop is gonna fail that I'm gonna be making billions of dollars. Well, when Reddit jumped in, he started getting his ass beat to be very you know, blunt about it. So he's like, oh my God, I'm losing too much money. So he called in his friends, Steve Cohen, who's a part of 0.72 Asset Management, another hedge fund, and Dan Suntam, something like that. I honestly don't care about these people, so I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna care about pronouncing their name right. He's a part of D1 Capital Partners. So these two guys were like, oh, we're gonna go bail you out because we're all homies. They got their ass beat too. All three of them have lost a collective amount of $5 billion thus far because people on Reddit decided that they like GameStop and decided to play by capitalist rules and beat them at their own game. <sighs> Actually, sorry, before I even jump into the update, GameStop surged up to a worth of $30 billion, which is 100 times more than they had uh, August of last year. Okay, now here's the update. So Robinhood is the investment app that a lot of the people in Reddit are using. This is how they were able to invest in these stocks. Well, the capitalists, by the capitalists, I mean these really, really wealthy hedge fund billionaires, right? They said, no, 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 we don't wanna be beat by our own game. No, 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 so they, they, they contacted Robinhood. Now I'm going to read you what CNBC has to say. I'm gonna comment in real time because there's a lot of like fancy words that's used, which is all complete bullshit. I'm not gonna lie, it's all bullshit, okay? Okay, so here's what they say, quote, Free stock trading pioneer Robinhood, an interactive broker, said that in some cases, investors would be able to sell only their positions and not open new ones. That's a really fancy way of saying that you can't invest anymore in GameStop because they're trying to have more money betting against it than for it, which is gonna cost your average person however much money they invested. In this case, they're gonna hope the average person fails and the hedge fund wins by limiting investments. Okay, we're gonna continue. Both brokerages raised margin requirements on certain securities. Okay, so what that means is they said, okay, wait a second, we can't lose this. So what they decided to do is they increased the standards by which people have to follow in order to have an investment. Okay, so what that means, if we're gonna put this in like academic school terms, this is like the teacher being like, okay, you have to have a number two pencil and ID in order to take this test. So everybody brings that. Now the teacher's like, wait, wait, I actually, I didn't wanna deal with all these people. Never mind, I'm gonna change it. So they already showed up with an ID and a number two pencil. Now the teacher says, well, actually I changed it. Now you have to have ID number two pencil, a calculator. You have to have four pairs of shoes with you and you have to have $1,500 in cash on hand. Nobody's gonna meet that. Nobody's gonna meet that. Let's continue. So CNBC also says, quote, Robinhood told clients in a blog post that it would close out some positions automatically if the client was at risk of not having the necessary collateral. So they're saying, hey, we raised the requirements, you can't meet it, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna close your account. You invested money into GameStop, you're making money, as an individual should. You're pulling yourself up from your bootstraps and we're gonna go ahead and close your account because we just changed the standards and now you can't meet it. Now, I'm gonna get into a little bit of the technical jargon here. Um, I'm not really sure sometimes how much detail you guys really want, but I'm gonna go into it for half a second about how Robinhood could pull this off, okay? So there's something called marginal accounts. Those are hyper risky accounts that Robinhood automatically enrolls you in when you start. The reason why they're risky is because you can invest more money than you quote unquote have in your account. So say I only have $200, I can invest 500. 
However, you do need to have proof that you have $500 between the cash you have on count and like your other shares all accrued together equals $500. So in case something goes bad in your investment and you have to pay $500, you have that. Okay, that's what you should always do. You're always supposed to have proof of this. So now, <laughs> I'm like collecting myself here. What is happening is Robinhood is saying, well, no, it's actually a liability because uh, if all y'all fail, well, then we're in trouble. So Robinhood is limiting the amount that people can invest in the hopes that the average person will fail and the hedge funds will win. Therefore, the hedge funds will make money and the average person will fail. If they didn't change the rules and increase the standards, the hedge funds were more than likely going to go, say, bankrupt, but they couldn't allow that to happen. So if this doesn't radicalize every single person on the left and the right, people were playing by the system and actually beat the system. If this doesn't radicalize everybody, I don't know what's going to.